हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 12th of july the session will be very interesting and important do pay attention till the end as you will be learning multiple things from this session so let's start first we are talking about national affairs ministry of finance amended the small saving rules and has allowed nris as nominees who are nris non resident indians so a step was taken by ministry of finance where they have amended the small saving rules for 2018 with government saving promotion general rules under 2023 with allow the nris that is your non resident indians they can be eligible or that can, they can be made or they can be nominated as the nominee for the government saving schemes right this is a condition there is on this is on the condition that the payment to such nominee shall be on the non repartition basis right this amendment has been added as a sub rule in the principal rules and the new rule indicates that the money needed to be utilized in india right they can be nominated but the money that will be provided will be used in india only correct then remember this amendment benefits the nris by allowing them to invest in small saving schemes and address the issues that are related to their nomination another amendment allows for converting a joint account into a single account upon the death of an account holder previously this conversion was not allowed changes have been made to payment norms for the death of a depositor for amount up to 5 lakh without a nominee without specific documents right oh sorry without a nominee but specific documents must be provided within 6 months in the absence of a relevant document the rightful claimant will be required to fill out form 11 right for amounts exceeding 5 lakh rupees the payment is based on the will or letter of succession along with the necessary documents so these are your some amendments made for the nominees of the small saving account or small saving schemes right so we can say nris can now invest in these small saving schemes and the only condition that they have to look out for is that this amount will be invested in india correct next spain's navantia they signed a teaming agreement to build submarines for indian navy with which organization important question 
right so remember it is lnt along with navantia that is a company of spain they signed this agreement on a teaming agreement to build submarines so we can say that these two organizations will be what they will be building submarines for indian navy right and together they signed a contract worth 43000 crore rupees and this is to build six advanced submarines all right and these submarines will be diesel slash electric submarines right and they are for indian navy correct also remember ta that is this teaming agreement was signed for the purpose of the submission of a bid for the indian navy's project 75 or p75 that is a military acquisition initiative and submarine program that was affiliated to india's defense ministry correct this project 75i it requires indian bidder to tie up with a foreign collaborator and execute the program for the delivery of six conventional submarines equipped with air independent propulsion while achieving the targeted indigenous content coming back remember lnt and spain's nemantia they signed a teaming agreement this teaming agreement was worth 43000 crore rupees it is for building submarines for indian navy and total six advanced such submarines will be delivered and these submarines they will be diesel cum electric submarines right if we talk about lnt who is the ceo and managing director sn subramanyam headquarters in mumbai maharashtra and lnt was established in 1938 next with city hosted u20 mural summit 2023 in gandhinagar gujarat so remember it is your amdavad right where the chairs this was or we can say amdavad was the chair city of u20 it was the chair city of u20 right and it was a two day long two day long u20 mural summit that was held from 7th and 8th of july it was held in gandhinagar gujarat right amdavad gujarat the summit concluded with the handover of the communique from the mayors to g20 leaders the handover was mandated by the u20 conveners that is c40 cities under the united cities and local government correct next thing you need to remember regarding this is this u20 you should also know what is this u20 u20 or basically we can say first of all remember what is c40 as the name says c40 cities 40 right it is a group of major cities that came together and they are committed to fight against climate change that is they are committed to fight against climate change correct and which connects around 96 of the world's largest and the most influential cities right then as i just mentioned that this was a communique was handed over right but the communique has been drafted as an agenda for six priorities right that was collectively decided by u20 cities what are these priorities these priorities are your accelerating climate finance ensuring water security catalyzing digital urban futures reinventing frameworks for urban planning and governance encouraging environmentally responsible behaviors right these are the focus areas then next thing remember the summit was hosted with the support of the ministry of housing and urban affairs and n i u a that is your national institute of urban affairs and the u20 technical secretariat right the current u20 cycle also created a record with over 50 articles six extensive background research papers six white papers on the six priority areas 
and six U20 bulletins being prepared and released during the cycle. Now, what is this U20? If we sum up, it is the city diplomacy initiative that brings together cities from the G20 member states under a common framework to discuss global economics, climate, and development issues. Correct. So, U20 chair city was Ahmedabad. It hosted U20 mural summit 2023 in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Right, and it was a two day long summit held on 7th and 8th of July. And the summit was, uh, and the summit concluded with the handover this of communique from the mayors to the G20 leaders. And they were talking about these six important priorities that we just discussed about. Right, next, name the refinery that has been upgraded to schedule a CPSE. That is your Assam's Numaligad Refinery Limited. Now, what is this Schedule A? Right? To which this refinery has been upgraded. Remember, Schedule A, these are the largest and the most important CPSCs. These are the highest ranked CPSC. Now, what is CPSC? Central Public Center Sector Enterprise. Right? They are known for their excellent performance high profitability and strategic importance, right? They have greater financial autonomy and can make investment decisions up to a certain limit without requiring any approval from the central government, right? So, which refinery has been upgraded to this Schedule A CPSC? It is your Numaligad Refinery Limited and it is in which state? It is in Assam, correct? Similarly, there is Schedule B, and Schedule C. Schedule B, these are the medium sized CPSCs and they are considered to have good financial performance and operational capabilities, but they may not meet all the criteria of Schedule A enterprise. Similarly, Schedule C, they are smaller CPSCs and are generally categorized by moderate financial performance and operational capability. They may require higher level of oversight and approvals from the central government for investment decisions and similarly there is a schedule d also that is cpsc those falling under d they are comparatively weaker financial performance and operational capabilities and these enterprises usually require central government for major decision making including the investment correct so schedule a schedule b schedule c and schedule d and which is the best schedule a is the best where these cpscs they can make investment decisions with a certain limit without even requiring approval from the central government. Right. So these are your four schedules of CPSC that you should know. Then coming back, remember, it is your Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas in their recent notification announced that the largest refinery of Northeast India of in Assam, that is Numaligad Refinery Limited in Assam, they have been elevated from Schedule B to Schedule Correct. And with this new status as Schedule A Enterprise, NRL, that is Numaligad Refinery Limited, became eligible to achieve the Navratna as a Navratna company. Right. NRL will have the freedom to invest up to 1000 crore rupees without seeking approval from the central government. Correct. So the right option is Assam's Numaligad Refinery Limited. Next. Which two organizations signed a contract worth 458 crore rupees for two Dornier aircrafts? Right. It is your Ministry of Defense and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. So these two organizations, they recently signed a contract for procurement of two Dornier aircraft. Right. And they will be for Indian Coast Guards. And the contract for the same is for 458.87 crore rupees along with associated engineering support and package. Correct. The aircraft will be procured under the by Indian category in New Delhi. Correct. And they are in line with the Atam Nirbar Bharat policy that is in we want to become self-independent and we want all them, all of the product to be made in India only. Then remember, 
these dornier aircraft they are being manufactured where they are being manufactured at hal facility that is in kanpur uttar pradesh and this they are being made under make in india initiative so question can be asked that these two dornier aircraft will be are being manufactured where they are being manufactured at the kanpur facility that is in up of hal hindustan aeronautics limited and for this it was ministry of defense that is signed an mou or they signed a contract with hindustan aeronautics limit for the same and these two dornier aircraft will be delivered to indian coast guard and the contract is worth 458.87 crore rupees and these will be built under make in india initiative right next next is department of telecommunication launches bharat internet utsav remember in the whole world india is considered to be a place where the internet is quite cheap right if we consider other nations the internet is at a comes at a very high price for every gb you have to pay a lot of money but in india it is not that case you can easily find internet at various locations and the amount of money that you need to spend for 1 gb of data is comparatively less as that of other developed nations right so the department of telecommunications that comes under the ministry of communication in collaboration with my gov they have launched bharat internet utsav to celebrate the transformative role of the internet by encouraging citizens to share their stories of how the internet has positively impacted their life see internet has definitely definitely changed the life of many people right earlier we have we were not having internet and with internet you can have access to any knowledge right people become intelligent they have knowledge and with that knowledge or with those skills they can get employment also right but if you remember this revolution was started when jio provided free internet right with the help of their free schemes free sims that they launched right so we can say it was jio who brought the revolution in india for the internet correct so recently it was your department of telecommunication and in collaboration with the my gov that is your my government portal and or my government they have launched this bharat internet utsav and it is to celebrate the transformative role the internet that has played in encouraging indians or encouraging the citizens of india into sharing their stories or how the internet has positively impacted their life to participate in this bharat internet utsav citizen can share their videos of up to 2 minutes of various empowering real life stories on the transformation brought by internet in the various aspects of their life on any of the social media handles with bharat hashtag bharat internet utsav and this is your hashtag right or they can upload it in the drive link and the same link can be submitted on the my gov portal at this particular link right so this is your bharat internet utsav any individual any indian citizen can share a video of up to 2 minutes sharing how the social media or how internet has impacted their life correct and this bharat internet utsav was launched by dot along with my gom portal correct next next question which organization in collaboration with bear launched an industry visit initiative under atl for students so remember it is your atal innovation mission that is aim right they in collaboration with bear they have launched an industry visit initiative that comes under the atal tinkering labs at the bear manufacturing facility that is at wapi in gujarat so we can say this is an industrial visit for the students right that will give them practical insight about how things work the collaboration aims to introduce the students to the latest manufacturing techniques and technologies that are in the industries as of now also remember bear is a life science company operating in the areas of agriculture and healthcare 
सो दिस इज वर्किंग इन द सेक्टर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड हेल्थ केयर एंड दे आर डूइंग द मैनुफैक्चरिंग इन द सेम फील्ड दैट विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग इन साइट अबाउट वेरियस न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड न्यू मशीन्स अबाउट वेरियस टेक्निक्स दैट आर यूज इन मैनुफैक्चरिंग टू द स्टूडेंट्स करेक्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर बेयर ऑल्सो पार्टनर्ड विद नीति आयोग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू सपोर्ट वेरियस इनिशिएटिव ऑफ द अटल इनोवेशन मिशन एंड हेयर बेयर हैज पार्टनर्ड विद हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव स्कूल्स दैट आर लोकेटेड इन सेवन स्टेट्स थ्रू द अडोप्शन ऑफ दिस ए टी एल ब्लैब इनिशिएटिव करेक्ट नाउ कमिंग बैक विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन कोलेबोरेशन विद बेयर लॉन्च दिस इंडस्ट्री विजिट इनिशिएटिव अंडर ए टी एल फॉर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज योर अटल इनोवेशन मिशन नेक्स्ट राइट एंड वेर इज द फैसिलिटी फॉर द सेम इट इज इन वापी गुजरात मूविंग ऑन एंड बट बिफोर हेयर रिमेंबर इट इज ऑल्सो अ वी कैन से इंडस्ट्रियल विजिट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स वेयर दे विल बी हैविंग इन साइट्स अबाउट the latest manufacturing techniques and technologies that will be used in industry moving on next to international affairs recently united nations imo adopts strategy to reduce ghg emissions from the ships i repeat united nations international maritime organization has adopted 2023 imo strategy at the marine environment protection committee on reduction of greenhouse gases emissions from the ships with enhanced target to tackle harmful emissions the revised imo greenhouse gases strategy aims to reach net zero ghg emission from the international shipping to zero by 2050 right we are talking about net zero greenhouse gas emissions from the international shipping to 20 50 right that we will be achieving this zero emissions from the international shipping by 2050 similarly if we talk about kerala they plan on becoming carbon neutral or they plan on shifting to 100% renewable energy by 2050 they plan on becoming carbon neutral by 2050 and by 2040 100% renewable energy similarly the target of government of india to become carbon neutral is 2070 and now we have learned one one more thing that the target for net zero greenhouse gas emissions from the international shipping is 2050 correct then remember this was marine environment protection committee's eth session that was held in the imo's headquarters that is in london uk apart from this the carbon intensity of the ship to decline through further improvement of the energy efficiency for new ships for example as of now we are studying that in haryana the first hydrogen powered trains will be running from the jind district in haryana right so these hydrogen powered trains they won't be they won't be creating any pollution because when we burn hydrogen water vapors are released and heat is released correct no carbon content is released so we can say that the co2 emissions from these will be reduced as when we burn fossil fuels such as your petrol and such as your diesel they release carbon into the atmosphere that is harmful but shifting to these such alternative fuels will be beneficial and they won't be polluting as well as they will be reducing the carbon content into the atmosphere correct so coming back remember it is united nations imo they have adopted various strategies to reduce these greenhouse gas emissions from the ships and the target year that was set by them to achieve the net zero greenhouse gas emissions from the international shipping is 2050 right and we saw about kerala and government of india's target similarly remember marine countries including india they have agreed on various checkpoints of reducing emissions by at least 20% by and striving and achieve trying to achieve 30% by 2030 correct then if we talk about imo international maritime organization who is the secretary general here 
Kitak Lim headquarter is in London UK when was this established in 1958 next next is RBI has allowed card networks portability that is you can shift from visa to mastercard or from mastercard to visa visa v or from rupee to mastercard or from mastercard to rupee right so coming back remember it this portability was allowed by rbi it is similar to that of the portability of sim cards that is you can shift between networks with the same number uh, say for example you are having a geo number right and say xyz and with the same number you want to have an operator atel so you can easily shift from geo to atel this is your sim portability right number portability now the card network portability will also be available and this will keep the existing card account balances and credit history intact just your network provider will be changed here correct and this was released by rbi and this will be effective from 1st of october 2023 right important remember the date next bajaj alliance general insurance sets guinness world record title at the first ever general insurance festival of india right we are talking about the first ever general insurance festival of india where was this held this festival was held in pune maharashtra important first ever general insurance festival of india was held in pune maharashtra right and recently it is your bajaj alliance general insurance where they set a guinness world record during this general uh, first ever general insurance festival which was officially a new guinness world record right and it is for the largest attendance for an insurance conference right i repeat this guinness world record was for the largest attendance correct for an any insurance conference there was a record turnout of 5235 attendees who contributed to creating history in the insurance industry worldwide by creating the record with the largest attendance and it was done by bajaj alliance general insurance correct during the first ever general insurance festival of india and where was this in pune maharashtra also remember this general insurance festival of india started with the idea of creating a platform that will bring together the best of the general insurance industry and will celebrate industry's contribution towards society's well-being also the event had various attractions like automobile zone featuring manufacturers like posh mclaren and lamborghini this of event was graced by sanjeev bajaj chairman and managing director of bajaj finsurf right next then during these award remember some winners and winners were also awarded with the GIFI award that is your general insurance festival of india awards one of them you need to remember is best health insurance advisor of india best health insurance advisor in india of india he will be mayank chander kothari right he is from ahmedabad gujarat he was honored or he was the winner of the best health insurance advisor of india right similarly second remember best motor insurance advisor in india he will be shiv kumar gupta third best property insurance advisor of india he she will be priya darshini shesh dhari all right so coming back world's first ever general insurance festival of india held in pune maharashtra and during this only bajaj alliance general insurance they set a record for the largest attendance of 5235 during this some awards were presented and winner for the best health insurance advisor of india is mayank chander kothari before our winner for the best motor insurance advisor in india will be shiv kumar gupta and 
winner for the best property insurance advisor in india is priya darshini shesh dhari next name four indian origin women who featured on the forbes america's richest self made women 2023 list so these four there are you can see here these are the four indian women jayashri ulal neerja shethi neha narkhede and indra nui right these are the four women right if we talk about them individually jayashri Jay ulal she is the president and chief executive officer of arista networks neerja shethi she is the co-founder of Sintel, Neha Narkhede, she is the co-founder of Confluent, and Indra Nui, she is the former co-founder. Ah, uh, she is the former chairperson and CEO of PepsiCo. Correct, and they were featured on the 2023 America's Richest Self-Made Women ninth edition of the Forbes list. Right, this was the ninth edition of the. Forbes annual ranking of the USA's most successful women entrepreneurs, executives, and entertainers. Correct. Mark this important. Similarly, if we talk about Jayashree Ullal, she was ranked fifteenth with a net worth of two point two billion dollar. Neerja Shethi, she was ranked twenty fifth with a net worth of nine hundred and ninety million dollar. Neha Narkhede she was ranked 50th with a net worth of 520 million dollar and Indra Nui she was ranked 77th with a net worth of 350 million dollar the combined net worth of these four women stand stood at 4.06 billion dollar right so these are the four women that you need to remember who featured on the Forbes America's richest self made women for 2020 Next, where is the headquarter of Forbes? It is in New Jersey, USA. Who is the CEO here? Mike Federle. It was founded in nineteen seventeen, and Forbes is a media and a publishing company. Next, next is NLC India Limited has been declared the winner of the Gem Award, that is Government E Marketplace Award for twenty twenty three. So remember NLC India Limited that is a Navratna company under the Ministry of Coal and they were declared winner by the Ministry uh, Government E Marketplace for the year 23 in timely payment category for promoting and encouraging business activities through e marketplace that is your through government e marketplace right K Mohan Reddy who is the director has received the award on the behalf of NLCIL from Piyush Goyal correct and this nlcil registered and onboarded in gem portal in the year 2017 its growth in the gem procurement started at 2.21 crore rupees during the year 2018-19 and company has now registered an impressive growth of 984.93 crore during the financial year 22 to 23 correct and also what is this gem government e marketplace it is a dedicated e market service platform that is a national procurement portal for selling and buying of different goods different goods and services correct so who has been awarded the winner of the gem award that is your nlc india limited right that comes under the ministry of coal next is shavkat mirziyoyev i repeat shavkat Mirziyoyev have been re-elected as the president of Uzbekistan for seven years term. Right, the incumbent Uzbekistan president has been re-elected, right, and for seven years term according to the preliminary results released by the Central Election Committee of the Republic of Uzbekistan. Next, Microsoft India President Anand Maheshwari has resigned, and Irana. Uh, uh, Irina Ghosh will become the managing director. I repeat, Microsoft India promoted Irina Ghosh as the managing director, while Anant Maheshwari has stepped down from his position as the Microsoft president of India. All right, or we can say Microsoft India's president. 
right so coming back two questions first who has resigned from the post of president of microsoft india anand bhaishwari and who will become the managing director of microsoft india irina ghosh right if we talk about irina ghosh the then chief operating officer of microsoft india was associated with the firm with more than two decades and now she has been appointed as the managing director of microsoft india she founded my little bit in 2010 that is a philanthropic foundation that believes that everybody can contribute in small parts to make a giant impact on the underprivileged she is actively engaged with microsoft for startups a microsoft program that provides support and assure credits and free licenses to the selected microsoft products to software entrepreneurs and startups correct next sports world archery youth championship 2023 was held and india has won 11 medals win which six were gold one was silver and four were bronze so the indian archery team won a total of 11 medals out of which six were golds one was silver and four were bronze right and india here secured second position in the medal tally correct and this indian or uh, this world archery youth championship where was this held this was held in ireland correct and the country that topped in the medal tally is your south korea they total a total uh, they had a total of 10 medals out of which six were gold and four were silver right india has a total of 11 medals but our uh, india had six gold one silver and four bronze right next next is obituary spain's only ballon d'or winner luis suarez has passed away at the age of 88 i repeat former spanish football player luis suarez miramontes has passed away recently he was the ballon d'or winner he passed away at the age of 88 in milan italy he was the only spanish born men's footballer to receive the ballon d'or award as of july 2023 correct he was also nicknamed he was referred to as golden galician and nicknamed as the architect as you can see him in the picture he passed away recently next when do we observe world population day world population day is observed across the globe on 11th of july and it is observed to focus attention on the urgency and importance of population issues and the enhance awareness of population issues around the world then remember india became the world's most populated country in 2023 by surpassing china then there is a theme that you can remember for this day that is unleashing the power of gender equality uplifting the voices of women and girls to unlock our world's infinite possibility this is the theme for the 2023 world population day correct first time world population day when was it observed it was observed in 1990 on 11th of july 1990 for the first time world population day was observed correct and it was observed across the globe in 1990 countries so these are your important current affairs for the day friends once again you can see the theme unleashing the power of gender equality uplifting the voices of women and girls to unlock our world's infinite possibilities so now let's go for a quick revision here first ministry of finance amended the small saving rules and allowed nris to become as nominees but the money from this small saving account will be utilized in india only then lntn spain snevetia Navantia signed an agreement that is a teaming agreement to build submarines for Indian Navy. U20 chair city Ahmedabad hosted U20 mural summit in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Assam's Numaligad Refinery Limited was upgraded to Schedule A CPSC where they can make a 
इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ अप टू वन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज विदाउट एनी अप्रूवल फ्रॉम सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस एंड हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक्स लिमिटेड साइंड अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वर्थ फोर फिफ्टी एट करोड़ रुपीज फॉर टू डॉर्नियर एयरक्राफ्ट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेलीकॉम्युनिकेशन लॉन्च भारत इंटरनेट उत्सव एम एंड बेयर दे हैव लॉन्च द नेशन वाइड ए टी एल इंडस्ट्री विजिट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स यूनाइटेड नेशंस आई एम ओ अडोप्टेड स्ट्रेटजी टू रिड्यूस जी एच जी एमिशन फ्रॉम द शिप्स आर बी आई हैज़ अलाउड कार्ड नेटवर्क पोर्टेबिलिटी फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर बजाज अलायंस जनरल इंश्योरेंस सेट्स गिनीज वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड टाइटल एट द फर्स्ट एवर जनरल इंश्योरेंस फेस्टिवल ऑफ इंडिया फॉर इंडियन ऑरिजन वीमेन फीचर ऑन द फॉर्ब्स अमेरिकाज रिचेस सेल्फ मेड वीमेन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एन एल सी इंडिया लिमिटेड हैज बिन डिक्लेयर्ड द विनर ऑफ द जेम अवार्ड फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री शावकात शावकात बिन रिलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ उजबेकिस्तान फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेवन ईयर्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंडियन प्रेजिडेंट आनंद महेश्वरी हैज रिजाइंड and Irina Ghosh who was the chief operating officer has been promoted to the managing director world archery youth championship has was held in ireland and india's place was second with 11 medals that was six gold one silver and four bronze and south korea topped here with 10 medals that was six gold and four silvers then spain's only ballon d'or winner Luis Suarez has recently passed away at the age of 88 and World Population Day is observed on 11th of July. So these were your important current affairs for the day friends. Now let's move to the revision part. Badminton if we talk about Lakshya Sen has won the men's single title for the Canada Open 2023. Red Bulls Max Verstappen has won his first ever British Grand Prix title and this was his 23rd title right not 23rd i correct myself max verstappen has won the first ever british grand uh, british grand prix title and this was his sixth consecutive title and eighth win for red bull next spacex gets the license from mongolia to offer high speed internet via starlink satellite so uh, we can say starlink of spacex got the license from mongolia to provide them with internet next grand chess tour was held and d gukesh finished fifth vishwanath anand secured seventh place and magnus carlsen has won this super united rapid and blitz croatia 2023 next dot secretary k rajaraman is has replaced Injeti Srinivas as the chairman of IFS CA. Next, Raj Kumar Upadhyay got two-year extension as the CEO of C. Dot. Next, ECI and Election Tribunal of Panama they signed an MOU on the Election Corporation. So these were your revision part, friends. Now let's move to the homework section. Which institution released the World Investment Report twenty twenty three? next which technology company launched threads third which union ministry launched the scheme for expansion and modernization of fire services in the states so these are your three homework questions friend and i want to see maximum participation of the students in comment section as i am seeing that people are watching the video but they are not commenting the answers of these homework question then what is the need for me to provide these homework questions right if i am providing you with this homework questions i want all my students who are watching this video to comment below the answers right as they will be enhancing your preparation and doing this just for one month you will be seeing the change in your preparation correct so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official 
In the end friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.